When I help my clients create their learning strategy, they start with an assessment of three areas, their organization's goals, the audience or the audiences that their learning strategy is focused on, and of course, their overall environment. I want to zero in on understanding the audiences for a moment. Uh, I help my clients use different approaches to do that to do that assessment. Uh, so interviews, focus groups, and surveys. By and large, there's some other ones as well, but those are the main three. And I find that surveys are a great way to find out uh, employees' learning preferences. So I encourage them to ask questions about the delivery approach, how employees prefer to learn, whether that's virtual, in person, or blended, a, a combination of a bunch of different approaches. How much time in a day or a week that they can devote to learning at any given time and over and also cumulative. So I can attend a training program for 30 minutes in a day. That's all I can fit in. And I could do two of those in a week. So an hour tops or something like that. And then also including a question in the survey about any barriers that they experience. So uh, I'm working at a lot with doing this with a law firm right now. And one group of their employees sits in a really central area, kind of like a bullpen maybe. And when people are walking by, the lawyers are walking by, they can't tell if they're working on something and can be in, interrupted or if they're focused on something learning related and they need to be left alone so they can focus on learning. So for them, that's a barrier and really important information as that organization thinks about their learning strategy and how they can support that audience sitting in that central location. Of course, there's lots of surveys being done all the time by organizations, and a lot of my clients also tell me that their employees have survey fatigue. So when you create a survey, and if you're going to use one, you need to be really in tune to that. Um, make sure that you're uh, structuring it in a way that um, that you're being sensitive to their em employees' capacity and be really targeted with the questions and the audience who you're actually sending it to. So I hope that helps think through a little bit about starting a needs assessment with a learning strategy. And please reach out if you have any questions. I'd be happy to help.